Hey, what's going on? It's another Undermine Omni play. Let's get to the second save file. All right. I'm excited to get back into this. From our first episode. Let's see how far we can get this time. All right, so we're going to save up for it. We got to make sure to actually buy this balanced counterweight next time. I want to get a much further distance on the throw. You can see it's not very impressive. <laughs> currently all right who cool. get back into the mines oh man explosions oh I was thinking that you could tiptoe along that uh, that backside uh, that is not the case 37 Wow all right boom 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 let's get this gold slimes don't you dare back up slimes well, yeah I hope you're doing well when this video comes out whenever that is I'm playing a lot of undermine so just doing that initial sequence of, uh, of videos before I you know study up <laughs> watch more streams of people playing it copy some tactics you know what I'm saying use my copy uh, copy jutsu Copy ninja skills. Kakashi style. Kakashi? What is this? 2005? Make it some old man references here. <laughs> All you guys in your 30s are like, wait, Naruto references are now old? Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey. When in Rome, I don't know. I don't know if when in Rome fits. When does when in Rome fit? It's like if you're on Reddit and you uh, you post like a bad meme. I guess that's like a when in Rome situation. I guess that's like a when in internet situation. I feel like bad memes should be penalized. Memes are meant to transport... Uh, the values <laughs> of a society. Wait, what's the definition? There is a definition for memes because I remember reading it in like a psychology book. Let me take a second from your undermine gameplay. Memes definition. An element of a culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual to another by non-genetic means, especially imitation. See? So like cooking I think is a good example <laughs> there's another definition underneath it that I'm not gonna bother to read because it doesn't it uh, doesn't support my case <laughs> it's just like a hilarious image I'm like uh, no see that's the thing with arguments and uh, if you want people on your side you just read one of the definitions and then you know you'll be fine sorry that's that's getting a little bit controversial there uh let's see what we got here float boots walk on air Ooh. i'm walking on such oh wow does it last for uh for a while or looks like it lasts like for forever hey Hey, back up. Oh, look at the little bird. Try to try to get my gold back. What a sweet little bird. Uh, let's check out this last room. Make sure we don't leave any treasure behind. Ooh, speaking of treasure. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in this game. I know what this is. I've seen it a myriad of times in other games. Uh, hello? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Alright, we can actually just flow. Oh! Uh, okay, we'll wait until the next. Okay, there we go. Hey! Okay. Oh, come on. We completely butchered that, but that's fine. Thank you, bird. Thank you, bird. Picking up all of it, dude. 
Ooh, some more steak. All right, awesome. Let's get to the next floor. How many floors was it till the boss last time? I think it was like four. And then the fifth one is the boss fight, which I completely feel like I'm not ready for still. <laughs> I think that's a perfectly natural feeling to feel about the the boss fight, dude. That th that guy shredded me. I need to um. I need to watch some strats. Or I can figure them out. <laughs> you know, like your normal human being that plays roguelikes without the internet. I mean, how are you gonna play them without the internet, anyways? You had to download it off of Steam, so... <laughs> it's great how these kinds of games are getting a little bit less reliant on, like, community-driven projects like a wiki, though. And basically what I'm saying is, the items are described. <laughs> so you can, like, you can figure out the game without having, like, a wiki page open on the, on the other screen. And a lot of people, you know, I, I feel like enjoy that. But when I'm when I'm telling friends about these games, that's the first complaint, and it's it's slightly valid, you know. When you buy a game, you know, they they don't come with these instruction booklets anymore, telling you what's what. Either have a really good tutorial, but like if you have any upgrades, you should. Tell the, uh, you should tell the player what the upgrade does. Yeah, so that's, that's something that this game definitely does pretty well. Okay, here we are. Let's go upwards. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're good, we're good. Wait, we didn't keep the gold tooth? I just realized that. So we used purple currency. And we still didn't get to keep it. It's an interesting way of handling that. And uh, if you're reading between the lines, I'm basically saying, why the heck do, well, why do I pay the premium currency? For something that's, hi, gold tooth. <laughs> All right, gremlin in my PC. This is the second time you're doing this. The first time was the Keyblade. I was talking about Kingdom Hearts and then Keyblade. I can't walk over spikes though, right? So this is definitely gonna hurt. I don't know if it's worth it. Now we only have 91 health left. Nah, not nah, dude. Not doing it. We want to go as far as we can on these runs. <laughs> Excuse the uh, nasaliness. This is uh, this is definitely a morning recorded episode. You can tell the difference when something's recorded in the morning. It just has that natural good morning. Cle uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That radio talk show kind of feel, you know? Alright. Leafnet is this guy's name, by the way, in case you're wondering. I wonder if that's, uh... Dude, that'd be cool if they hid the seeds within, uh, within, like, names. I, I'd, I'm... I'd imagine they'd have to get they'd have to get pretty creative though. Uh, one thing we aren't doing as much now that I'm seeing these black rats is uh, jumping and swiping. We need to jump and swipe a lot more. That's how you win in this game. Jump, swipe, jump. That's something a lot of these twin stick shooters don't have is the the jumping mechanic because that's not supposed to be 3D. <laughs> to put it simply. Oh my goodness. It's a mimic. These things always freak me out. Okay. Swipe. 
Swipe, jump. Swipe, jump. Swipe, jump. Oh. There we go. That's how you do it. Hey, hey, back up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Was the bomb necessary? Alright, so we do have Gold Tooth. So, each one of these is healing us for one health. And it's fantastic, by the way, might I add. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh! Those guys I don't know how to deal with yet. I think I was doing pretty good there, but I did still take some damage. That's a lot of rats. Lots of rats in this room. Not too bad, though. These guys are like two, three swipes. No, two swipes, two swipes. Swipe to the left. Swipe to the right. It's like line dancing, but it's, it's like Tinder. <laughs> oh, wow. Really well timed. Okay, anything sparkly? Oh, I see those eyes. Get out of here, bats. Alright. What are we? Uh, gold mine four? This might be three. Oh, it is four. Okay, well, let's check out this room first. We gotta make sure to get as much help as possible. Adventurer's Whip. Hold on, I didn't get to see what it was. Uh, discover more treasure rooms. Ooh. Probably won't help us un unless we beat the boss fight. I guess I shouldn't say unless. We should just say un uh, until we <laughs> beat the boss fight. That sounds super hopeful, though. Okay, so we want the medium rare steak first. Sure. And I'm going to buy this potion just because it'll help us out. It'll 100% help us out. I'm gonna buy the bomb, might as well. We, we're gonna lose the money anyways if we die, so. Might as well try to prevent the uh, said death. Nope. Nope. None of that. None of. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. I will say, the slimes in this game, they're a hundred percent more efficient than slimes in any other game I've played. They know exactly what to do to actually get the hit off on you. Im impressive stuff, man. I don't know how they did it. I don't know if it's like the 3D plane. Dude, if, if Secret of Mana, or Sword of Mana, you know, those action adventure type games, had like a 3D mechanic. I guess it would be like uh, Kingdom Hearts. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, Kingdom Hearts was actually pretty difficult because of its camera sometimes. <laughs> no wonder they're making Kingdom Hearts references, man. I'm, I'm making them left and right just in comparison. Kingdom Hearts. Meets Enter the Gungeon. Meets Stardew Valley. In a world. That's all I've got. We're working on the script. Zhu! Woo! There we go. There we go. Making it happen. My goodness, no, 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 I was not in the line of fire. Okay, that's fine. 
All right, well, let's get another good run in after bu uh, buying more range. We could buy a couple things here. We got 800. Yeah, let's buy more range for sure. Throw. Throw RNG up. Cool. So it's a thousand more to get more uh, increased, increased range damage here. And then what about here? Can we craft something? Bladed boots, break spikes, take names. <laughs> Death at 45 degrees. Increased throw damage. Increases health and damage. Let's go with increased health and damage. Start off with. We can also get some upgrades from over here to start off in our run. And we're gonna pick up some glasses, sure. Seeing the health of the enemy, uh, it does wonders for my um, my morale <laughs> during the fight. Say what you will about morale, but people live and die off of that stuff. You know, that's actually really true. <laughs> I used to think like in, in Dynasty Warriors, like those war type games, if they had like a morale meter, I was like, what does that even mean? It doesn't do anything to their skill, and it does. I mean, now that I'm in like a like an office workspace, <laughs> morale is something that uh, one is is scarce, <laughs> but two helps out a ton with uh, with just overall productivity. Die rat's nest. This is good. Yeah, the, the speed at which I can release the axe again, it's really good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I just I just got robbed, by the way. And I'm not talking about the Super Smash Brothers character. Alright, simple chest. Overstocks the shop. Okay. Um, that's kind of... Uh, what's the word I'm using? <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, useless. Now, why do you have to be so negative, Ami? You know, you can, you, can, you can figure out some usage for it. You don't know until you see a shop. I guess. <laughs> I just want something, you know, a little bit more, um... What's the word? Besides bird. Uh, I want something a little bit more tangible, as far as, uh... Upgrade-wise, damage-wise. Let's see. That's another fight. Probably shouldn't have opened up with this guy because it mind floods you because of all the slimes that show up. Ooh, there we go. Good stuff. Alright, let's go down. What is this? Floor 2? Yeah, we're at floor two. We're we're making good uh, good progress though. I feel like I haven't gotten hit that much. <laughs> you never want, as as someone who posts stuff on YouTube, you never want that kind of comedic timing on you. And it might be funny on the uh, other end, but like ultimately, it's almost detrimental to the run. And by almost, I mean pretty much 100% detrimental to the run. Um, let's check out what's down here. It looks like it's a dead end. Okay, we can use a key to get to the purple chest. Yeah, why not? It's a cursed chest. And then this one has some stuff to deal more swing damage. I like swing. Um, blueprint discovered. Golden powder crafted at the blacksmith. Okay. What about the white smith? Let's. Yeah. 
Let's not go there. Okay, so. Ooh. Okay, so we have 544. What can we buy here? Float potion. Avoid falling into holes. Uh, medium rare steak. I feel like I'm gonna definitely get definitely get some health. And uh, let's get a key. Cool. Let's head out of here. Alright. On away. Looks like there's a chest over here. We made a good purchase with that key. Oh. I was afraid of that. Actually, at first I was, uh, I was afraid. And then... I was actually petrified. What is... Totem of life. Sustain yourself through adventure. A totem depicting an ancient god of life in the natural order. Adventure? As in like, uh... Discovering rooms? Let's see. We're at 205. We're about to enter another new room. So let's, um... Let's see what happens. That's just my guess. It's usually what it means. What, what games mean when you, they say adventure. That's true. When you enter a new room... I just realized, I'm recalling back when I said that we weren't sure about what that totem actually did. I completely misspoke before then. You might still need a wiki open for this game. <laughs> like the gold tooth, I didn't know what it did until I actually looked it up. And now that I'm recalling that, I'm recalling back to Isaac where it says, you know, something else cryptic about an item you just got, and uh, it's the same exact thing. Maybe it's just a style. You know, people like figuring out stuff like this. Alright. Leftovers. Find old gross food in chests. But then some of these things are like, really obvious. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is just a style. But again, like, roguelikes are language. You decipher the language, you figure out how to best use it, you figure out the uh, the anecdotes in the language, the uh, the popular phrases nowadays, you know, like dab, or like floss, or memes. What else? There we go, there we go. Okay, cursed chest is inside here. Let's just uh, drop it in there. Oh, 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 wow. This rat did us dirty. And I'm not making that joke because rats are dirty. I'm just saying, like, it actually really just spit in our face. Come on, come on. You big disgrace. Can you can all over the place? Dropped some protein. Protein shake. What does that mean? Ah. I'm a fan. Okay. Let's keep on going here. We're uh I think we're at like level three at this point. Doing pretty good. Um not doing good dodging. Because there's something about... Do I have, like, a debuff going on? I feel like my swings are taking uh, a little bit longer to recover from. I feel like I'm using, like, a... Great sword in Monster Hunter. Ouch. Help. Send help. Send help. Okay, jump. There we go. Throw, jump. Throw. Throw, jump. Throw. I <laughs> just gotta talk my way through. Those lurkers are, are kind of difficult. There we go. Alright, we got another key. Awesome. Uh, we should probably check out the remainder of the rooms in the floor. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, snap. It's another one of those guys. Oh, <laughs> we jumped right into... Uh, did he just fall off the cliff? There we go. Alright. Let's check out the shop. Because we need it. 100% need it. Temporarily increases attack speed. It restores a moderate amount of health. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, we're looking rough. We're looking rough for sure. <laughs> we just need to... Uh, I don't know what we need to do. We just need to not get hit, forehead. Okay, so gold mine four incoming. I just realized the the name of the level is uh, on the bottom right side of the screen. I I thought it was just a guessing game for a second. <clears throat> it looked like it might have been a secret door on the right side there, but I didn't see it sparkle. All right, so we're at. So we're still gaining 6 HP for every single room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see that? It's pretty neat. What is a pilfer ring? Soak up gold. Fish kebab. Let's get let's get another fish kebab going. Try to survive. Alright, what's in here? Oh, it's one of these ape guys. Let's kill the slimes first. Just dodge, forehead. Huh. There we go. Oh, we walked into that one. That was, what was that? Like 40 damage? That's insane. Speaking of insane. <laughs> I love this power up. Did he step over? Oh man, we should have we should have waited to the, use the potion. Like there was no use, there there was no purpose for using it that early. I was just impatient to get some more HP, and just like most things, you know, you're impatient for, you just end up losing it. Uh, we couldn't get to the boss fight. This uh. This episode, but we we made a lot of progress, I would say, to an extent. We didn't come back with much gold. Wow, what happened to uh to all of our gold? One of our items, I think, was making us drop some. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned, and uh, keep checking out the episodes uh, to see how much better or how much uh, I stay stagnant now. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the video, hit that like button. Obviously, if you want to hitch, if you want to watch more of these episodes hit that sub button uh, follow me on twitch.tv slash omnivision and uh yeah hope you're enjoying the undermine gameplay see ya